Hello guys, uh, this is Nyango, a programmer who, a programmer who uses Unreal Engine 4 you know, to download games or whatever. Well, I would talk, like to talk about behavior trees. This thing here, right? I think they are, they are, they have problems, right? They are too time consuming. This is the first thing. They, they are too unintuitive, like do not understand what is going on. I think that they are unnecessary having the AI control already. But well, yeah, uh, um, yeah, that's my thoughts. And this is why, right? First thing, uh, you see this tutorial, for instance. There, there are good tutorials or whatever. But yeah, they're pretty good or whatever. But they take like one hour to make something very simple, like the AI follow you. The uh, well, one hour, but a long time to to get the AI to follow you and do basic stuff and not even attack you or anything else. It's so I mean the fact that the that the uh, that the tutorial takes up a massive amount of time to just do something real simple for the AI that you could pro pro program it in the in the blueprint basic blueprint AI uh, just fine. It's it's telling us, hey, this this tool takes a lot of, of time, so I, I don't know why. Yeah, so these are things, it's very unintuitive. It's like, look at this, if you go here, and you go to a behavior tree, uh, you see that this thing on value change, on result change, what, what is the result? What is the value? What's the difference between these things? Um, the observer aboard, what is an observer in the first place? Who, who the nobody knows what observer is. I guess it's here. It says flow control settings. I don't know what it is. This and this key query and it's also unintuitive. It's so time consuming. That something breaks and you're going to be half an hour trying to repair something on these, for instance. I think they are one of the worst features of Unreal Engine 4. I, I mean. Every time I try to get into them, I end up with the same conclusion. It's the same results. That they are, they are pretty much not as good as getting your AI together in basic blueprint, like in here. And yeah, in here, for instance, this thing already follows the AI just simply with these little notes. Like, wow, you can count them. You can, I don't know. There's 14 or 15 or whatever, but you, you can count it. And with the with the um, behavior tree, it's like it's a it's a it's a mess. It's it's I, I can I cannot I cannot do anything with it because yeah, it's a mess. And I guess that this is this is a a, a video to prevent people from using these and losing their time because. Man, I've been 10 years programming with Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine overall, and I always, yeah, as I said, I always end up with the same conclusion. This is not a good tool. This is time consuming. This is unintuitive. This, yeah, this, this thing. Uh, and it makes no sense to use it, in my opinion. But that, this is just my opinion, too. So I guess, I mean, I know that people like us who tell the truth and you know and try to give a true message on things are are bad and whatever. But yeah, somebody needs to go in there and tell the truth and say no, this this thing it's useless. It's it's not going anywhere unless you are the creator of this thing. You, you can't understand anything at all. And that's all with the video. I hope you guys like it or whatever. I more than like it, find it useful. And that that is it. Uh, I'll see you later.